guys, it's Matt Trainer 943. Today I have an unboxing video on my new California Zephyr 18 inch four car passenger set to go with my F3s, which I'll show you guys in a minute if you haven't seen them already. So, just got, just got the plastic here in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera and take this plastic off, and then we'll slide the lid off and see what we got inside. Alright, so I removed the plastic from the box. Now, besides on the box, you got the nice Lano graphic. On this end here, you got the serial and information about the train, whatever's in the box. In this case, it's the passenger set. Now, you can take the flaps off and take it off that way, but this is this just flips up. It, it's a lift off, just like this. And inside, you got your train, along with your instruction book, which I have yet to read. I have taken a look at this car here, but I haven't taken a look at the other three. So, I'm going to go ahead and unbox one of the Vista cars first, just because this is the one I've already looked at, and i got to tell you, man, these are probably the best looking cars I think I've ever seen. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera, take this over to my unboxing area, and we'll go ahead and unbox it right in front of you guys. Okay, so I brought the car over to probably where there's the most light in the area here. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox the car, but before we do that, I'll show you the end of the car. 18 inch Vista Dome car. And I'm just gonna crack it like so. I was, I was pleasantly surprised when I opened this up. I have to say, I was not expecting the level of detail and the look of these cars to be the way they were. And I gotta tell you, if you don't own a set of these 18 inch aluminum cars, definitely try to pick some up. I had to specifically get these cars because these are the only cars that can run on 31 inch curves. All the other ones are a true 18 inch. These have swing skirts on them to allow for a 31 inch operation. Now, I'm not exactly sure where those are in the car, but anyway, so on the box here, it's a split box. Not like some of the MTH cars where it's a full box. This is a split box. So when you put it in, it only goes in a certain amount of inches into the box. It doesn't go fully all in the way. So when you crack the top, you're presented with this. This car is truly amazing. It's got that really nice aluminum finish, which is the reason why I want specifically an aluminum set. Because Lionel goes above and beyond when they do the aluminum cars. Uh, they haven't done these in a while. Usually they, well actually they've done the aluminum cars, but these are sharp. These are really nice. Let me give a light. You can get an idea of the detail. Look at this. The doors don't open on the sides, but everything else. Look at the people inside the car here. Look at the detail. There's a lot of nice detail on this car. Here's a look at the end. You can see, very nice. Lionel really did a fantastic job. Now what I'm surprised with was on the pictures of the car. I looked up the parts for this car just the other day before I got them here. And the car, the top of the car was black. Now I don't know if that was a pre-production sample because these cars are all silver. The top and the, this part here were black and the sides of the car were the silver. And I'm surprised, I, would, I was pleasantly surprised when I saw the parts. I'm like, why are the rest of the cars silver but these two are black? Well, I'm, I'm pleasantly happy to see that they're the correct color like they should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all the packing off and I'll unbox the other three cars and then we'll go ahead and turn the layout on, put these behind my F3s and run them. All right, so I just put them on the track and these things are probably the coolest cars I've ever seen. These cars are fantastic. Now you can see the window patterns. Here's the one side of the Vista car. And here's the other. See a total difference. Now you can turn the lights on and off do a lot of things with these, it's really cool. I'm gonna take one of them off the track real quick. Look at the observation car, look at this. It even comes with a scale coupler, which is really cool. Now one thing I did notice with these cars was that the Vista cars are a little different weight than the baggage and observation car. I'm not exactly sure as to why, but that's just one thing I noticed off the bat. You can turn the lights on, the cars on and off, which I haven't even turned the power on. I have not put track power to them, obviously, so 
we'll go ahead and see what that looks like in just a minute. Here's the gap between the cars. Actually, it's pretty good, especially for O scale. And then these here are the swing skirts. So that that's what this black rubber stuff is. So they like the diaphragms. The doors in between the cars open. I didn't get a chance to find that out, but the the doors on the sides don't. But that's not a big deal. The only thing I had to do was I had to move my house that was right here because the car swung out and hit them. So I have not tested them in any other spot. I just had to test them just to make sure they would go through my 36 inch curves and they do, but they look really awkward. So I'm definitely gonna have to get bigger curves if I want more of these cars, but these are magnificent. The doors on the baggage car open up. You get a look at the interior. I grab a flashlight, but I don't have one with me right now. Besides the one I just used, but these are. I'm not a fan of how the doors open. The doors are very easy to open. I'm not crazy about that. Like on the MTH ones, you just gotta push them in. But on these, you just open it, so. Uh, I'm sorry to set the train here is on the way, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this other one on. All right, there's the car lights. Look at the detail. I don't know why you can tell in the video. But look at the detail. If I take these to my dad's, I'll do a better video, but these are awesome, awesome, awesome cars. Here's the back of the observation car. It's got a wooden drum head that reads California Zephyr. Really nice. A marker light on the back, marker lights on the side, which I think it's just uh, reflective. But I don't know, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the train on. Get a better idea how these things look when they run. I'm probably gonna end up moving these boxes, but I'll find out. Dispatcher here, do you copy? Over. Roger that. Please start up and stand by. Copy that, dispatcher. We'll get up and running. Out. So I got that trouble back up and fixed, backed up and working, so I'm going to go do a run by real quick. Get a look at the detail in these things. I don't know what I can tell in the video, but these things have magnif magnificent detail. Sorry about that. These are magnificent cars. I can't wait to get the other four. Lionel made f eight cars. They made four. They made four cars in a four pack, and then they made two di additional two packs. But these things are just, again, beautiful. One thing I would do though is I would take that light in the back. Like you can see where the drum head is. I would I would cover that up with some like tape or something to block out the light that's coming out, and that on the back. I'd, I'd pull that up a little bit to block out the light there. Other than that though, these cars are great. Some of the best cars I've ever seen. Lionel's surely outdone themselves with these cars. Uh, when I bring them to my dad's, I'll do a full review. But I gotta tell you, I, these are fantastic cars. Probably some of the best cars I've ever seen. Definitely the best cars I've ever ran. They run like a dream. They look fantastic. And they're just amazing. The only thing I would say though is I definitely need bigger curves for these things. I'll go ahead and explain why when it comes down to curves. Dispatcher, clear inbound, over. 
Give have a look at when they come around the curve. Yeah. So I'll definitely need bigger curves to these cars, but other than that, they look great. So I can't complain, they're fantastic. So that's about to wrap it up for this video. I'm Matt Train of 943. We'll catch you guys later. You guys have a good one.